Hi everyone, welcome back to Dark Dinner Plays. Uh, this is Pathfinder Gallo Spy Survivors. Uh, I want to thank uh, the developers for this for letting me into the playtest. There is only a certain amount of the content within this that I can show you. Uh, the game comes out on a September the 14th, uh, but after a certain point there is embargoed content, so I can only show you a certain part. But it will be enough here to have as a kind of a first look. Um, I have played this briefly just before the video, just to make sure it all works and things, and see how the uh, combat works and stuff. As you can tell from the title, this is a survival-like game. It's an action roguelike. A few differentiating factors between um, normal, say, vampire survivors and other action roguelike areas. If we continue here, you can see that there's three different characters. Now, you design how these characters want to look if you want when you first uh, begin the game. So you can choose between uh, the two genders, um, or male and female, a kind of character archetypes, if you like. And uh, that only is, is the only kind of um, selection choice you've got there. Once you're already uh, choosing your party, you get to choose a companion as well. So if you were to choose the fighter, for example, which is what I'm going to do in a moment, you can also choose either the rogue or the wizard to join along with you. As you play through the game, you pick up various pieces of... Um, uh, experience and items and various other things which allow you to level up your characters as you go through and you get some talents with them as well i'm going to play with just the base stuff today so you can see exactly what it plays as uh, there is also potions as well which you'll see so you can see there's healing regen temp hp and so on and so forth and you learn these as you go through the game um, so i can come down here and i can upgrade that for example to get better max health or i can take that and learn that one if i wanted to um, so it will drop that in the battlefield as i'm playing through and there's also quests as well so there's 10 floors that you can click on my first playthrough i got through three <laughs> which wasn't much um and so on and so forth <clears throat> i will come back out of this and i'll just start again uh, i'm happy with the fighter as my main character and i think it's given me the wizard as my backup <coughs> and here we go so the tyrant will pay for his crimes so there is a, a kind of a bbeg um if you like there is a quest log in the top right hand corner so twenty thousand regulars which is just your standard enemies uh, we will see those in a few moments and there is a chest right here so you'll find chests on the floor everywhere pretty much um, they drop quite often and there we go once you open the chest you get a dice roll which is one of the mechanics i really like and the higher you dice roll the better items you get so i only just got the second level there of the bastard sword and that's one of my things oh hello i'll just do uh, a few bits of damage i need to go back up right and then when you level up you get a choice of I've always seen four. I don't know if there's going to be more than that. I've never had an epic one, so I'm going to take that one. On the left-hand side, you can see you've got four different attacks and four different passives that you can take. So uh, as you go through the game, you'll be able to fill those out and upgrade them as you go. Right, that's my bastard sword. I haven't seen the spear yet. Oh, I've got another fiery ball thing. Heading up in the top right to the, um, the chest, so... So you can see, uh, the purpose of the companion is to give you a second piece of damage output. Now, I don't know if you can actually upgrade the um, companion's abilities and capabilities. I haven't seen that just yet. Um, four extra re-rolls per adventure. That might not be too bad. You see in the bottom right-hand corner, I've got three out of three. I'm going to take the flail, though. I've not had that one yet. So in the bottom left, you can also see all of your cooldowns and things for your weapons and abilities. He's a, uh, a champion sort of thing, a mini-boss stand in this okay we get i've never had an at 20 by the way i'll take a 17 no that's really good okay so we get uh yeah, not too bad i get upgrades from my main two weapons and some gold uh gauntlet shoves enemies close to the character is that going to shove them closer to me or closest i think it's closest I'll take the gauntlet that's fine i pick up this xp and another level Toughness, flail, or lucky. So 5.66 increased chance to find chests. So some basic enemies, they call them regulars in this game, they can drop uh, chests. It's not common, but they can. Just wander up here and get this chest. And I get ooh, a nine. Nine's okay. Here's in two. One of them's lucky, uh, rare, so that's fine. Where is the next chest? It's down here. So one thing in the, uh, important to understand as well, in the top right, you have a certain number of enemies to slay to get through to the next floor. Um, I will... Um, do you know what? I'll take toughness. That's fine. I 
think that potion is a little bit of speed or something. I'm not too sure. I do like the, uh, the gauntlet just shoves people. Literally just punches them. Sound design is interesting. I quite like it. The graphics, I think, are maybe a little too basic. Um, but I don't think that's nothing. Uh, anything that should take away from the game. Yeah, another rare here. Fallback strategy. Five extra rolls per adventure. That'll be a passive. Um, do you know what? I'm going to take Essence Extraction. 23.6% more chance to extract essences from enemies slain. That is your uh, XP, I believe. Might be your potions, but I think it is your uh, XP. Just going to kill some of these here because there's loads of enemies. Right, let's get down here and get this chest. And we get... Oh, uh, nine. Eh, nine's okay, second one. So we get the uh, sword upgrade as well then. That's good. It's just my main, my main attack, I should say. Uh, I will upgrade my spear. Yes, definitely. So... I only got a few upgrades on my last run because I did only get to floor three, of course, so... I don't need that potion necessarily, but I'll grab it. Potion finder is tempting, but I'm going to upgrade my flail, I think. Gaunt could be good as well. A bit more damage on the gaunt, but yeah, let's go. And that's kind of the base mechanics of the game. It's a, it's a standard action mode like survival. Like. Um, I don't find anything too inoffensive about it. I like the chest mechanics and I like the, the D20 rolls as well. I'm going to go get this chest. We've killed our 400 required enemies, but I'm going to get this chest as well. We get a natural 20. Woo! I get all five. There we go. So I get... Ooh, that's quite nice on the on the sword there. I will claim all. Thank you very much. Let me wander over to the teleport. We could wait, but why would we do that? On to the next floor. Almost 1,500 years ago, Tarbafon returned as a lich after thousands of years lying dormant. So that's kind of the, uh, I believe that's the big bad end guy that you have to face. We do have another skill down the bottom there as well, which is my Y button, my shield wall. Obviously, every character is going to have their own. So depending on how long this video is going to be, I may play as the rogue, as my primary character. I'm not sure yet. And we get... Yeah, I'll take an 18. That's absolutely fine. Cool. Yeah, a bit of toughness as well. That's quite good. All right, where's my next chest? It's down there. Let's go. So there are more shields, uh, shields, more chests on the battlefield, I believe, than what you can see. Um, it's just it's highlighting the nearest one to me, I believe. It's a speed boost, thank you very much. He's a big dude. I'm going to have to hit him a little bit. There we go. We get flail. Take that. And... Go on, give me like a four. Nine. Oh, nine's okay. Um... Yeah, I've got no complaints with that again. Sword upgrade is fine. I feel like my sword doesn't quite attack equip bleh, attack quick enough for the moment, but I'm sure with enough upgrades we can get there. I'll take that, thank you very much. Ah, right, so we've got a champion on us now. Do, do quite enough damage. Okay, well, we've upgraded. Um, I mean, the shield wall is fairly good. It improves my shield wall. Um, but I'm going to take mountain resilience, I think. What's hitting me? I need to get those. Ah, no, there's something else killing me. 
Right, I'm going to use my shield wall ability in a minute. Uh, let's upgrade that. That's my shield wall ability. How is he not dead yet? Okay. Well, we killed him. But at what cost? Because <laughs> I'm almost dead. Okay. Give me something decent. Go on. I'll take a 12. Nah, I'll take a 11. Okay. Lucky. Woo. Just what I needed. Another chest right in front of me. Um, toughness could be quite good. Yeah, we'll take toughness there. Alright, go on, give me a 20. Not even close. All gold. I want that purple potion up there, please. Just burn you all. No idea how far away this chest is. Like to get a level on the way down there. Thank you very much. Ooh, what is that? Uh, I got a reroll. Doesn't reroll. It doesn't keep the rarities. Okay. Uh, well, I'll take the sword. I think that's kind of a minimum that you should be able to keep the rarity if you do a reroll. But you know, it's just me in it and my, my thoughts there. More sword upgrades. That's fine. Lowers the cooldown a little bit, does more damage. Another chest. Wonderful. Come on, give me something decent. Or, oh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, cool. I'll take all of those. Another champion here. He's dead, we get a chest. And an upgrade. I will take some more armor. Right. Go on, give me the 12. That's not a 12, is it? Right, we are five away. One away. I don't want to teleport just yet. Let's see if we can get this chest. There's no dash mechanic that I've seen. How far away is this chest? Probably too far. No, nope, it's there. It's fine. We'll be able to get that. It takes about five, six seconds to open one. Horse is a timer. I like it. We get a four. <laughs> it was not worth it. Okay, well, I'm not going to be able to make it back to the chest in time. No, the teleporter, I mean. Five, four, three, two. One. Nope, ran out of time. Need to get teleported anyway, so it's fine. Okay. Nearest chest this way. So all the floors look basically the same. I believe they are not procedurally generated, probably seeded in the way they're formed. There's enough variety, and remember this is still, it's not even in early access just yet, it's still kind of beta playtest. So there is opportunities for them to change that. Uh, these bat guys are annoying. Need to deal with them as quickly as possible. Oh good, that's just what I want. Cool. Right, okay. What have you given me this time? Oh, two. I thought I was going to get a 20. <laughs> Just some gold. And I'll take uh, Mountain Resilience there. I like the concept of rarities and upgrades. That's very good. Because very often you just get the most basic stuff. Like, all the time. This guy's not attacking me. He just seems to be standing there and taking it. He's probably winding up a big attack or something. I mean, he's doing his job because all the enemies are surviving and I'm dying.
Nice, right, we've got a normal upgrade. Uh, we will... I'd like a flail upgrade, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, mountain resilience is fine. And from our chest we get... Oh, nine. Okay. Right, well, they all died. That's good. Where did that chest go? It's up there. XP range to pick up is uh, not the biggest, but it doesn't. It's not a problem either. You just have to be clever with how you're going to do it. Ah, good, another one of those champion guys. We get an upgrade. Essence extraction is not what I want, um, but we'll take it. Come on, give me a twenty. Go on. No, that's a nine. That's that's not even close to twenty. Just have to stand in the middle for a second. Fire my shield wall. There are too many enemies. We killed that dude anyway, that's fine. We get... Ooh, oh. Okay, well, fine. We get... Oh, no, 11. Okay. They're the most common ones, of course, because it's over half of it. But I will take that. That's quite nice. A rare bastard sword upgrade. Imps, I should say. Uh, we will... Uh, okay, go on. Oh, there we go. We have found our our way. Do I try and go for this chest? No idea how far it is, but let's go. We've almost got the potion quest sorted now. Which is taking a while, I'm not going to lie. This chest is miles away. This was a mistake. Should we just teleport? Oh no, there is. Okay, we got there just in time because the timer stops when you get in the chest thing. Phew. All right, can I have a D20 for that, please? Go on. I'll roll my own D20 if I have to. Seven. I'll at least to get two of them. And away we go. We get beamed up to the next floor, Star Trek style. Right. And now this is the first boss. This is as far as I can show you, so I will try and fight this boss and see if I can beat it. I haven't beaten it so far, but if I do beat it, I'm going to have to pause the recording because <laughs> I'm not allowed to show you anything uh, after what, after that. So, greetings, warrior. I see you are clad in shining steel, much like myself. It is honourable to face certain defeat with pride in one's appearance. My quarrel is with Tarbafon, not you, giant. General, little warrior. General, do not dishonour the gift of this battle with informality. Right, and he's rather bloody large, as you can see. Where's he gone? Down there. No, 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 no. So I just need to kind of run away now. I can't really attack him directly. He just hits me. There's not much I can do about it. My shield wall is not ready. I need to run away. I am hitting him, but he's very tough, as you can tell. Flee less Tarbafon, glad you to my legion. Right, and that's kind of the end of where I can show you for the moment. Um, there is some stats that you can play through. Uh, obviously you can see all your attack upgrades and things. You can't see what levels they got to. Uh, I'd like that, but no, it's fine. Uh, there's not much we can do about that. But, there we go. This is Pathfinder Gallo Spire Survivors. Uh, I will link this down below so you can um, go and wishlist this if you want to. Like I said, it's coming out September the 14th based on what it currently says on the Steam page. Again, thanks to developers for uh, allowing me an early access key for this so that I can showcase this for you guys. Uh, if you want to see some more of this, let me know down below in the comments uh, or like the video. Uh, either way is good for me. Uh, but other than that, I am Dr. Plays, and I want to thank uh, everyone for watching and the developers for allowing me to play this early access game. I'll see you soon.